Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to solve day 13 problem of this month on lead code. Before starting, if you guys haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, then please go ahead and subscribe it. Now without any delay, let's get started with today's problem. Problem number 3541. Find most frequent vowel and consonant. So in this problem, you are given a string S consisting of lowercase English letters A to Z, right? So total 26 characters. So if I want to show them uh, in uh, array, so I can say uh, we have uh, indexing start from 0, right? 0, 1 and until 25, right? So we have total 26, right? So at 0, I will show A. At 1, we, I will show B. And same way at 25 index, we have Z, right? So this is what we usually do, right? Uh, for such type of problems where we have only lowercase English letters. So we create one frequency array of size 26 and we have indexing from 0 to 25 and 0 shows A, 1 shows B and same way 25 shows Z like this, right? So our task is to find the vowel 1 of A, E, I, O, U with the maximum frequency and we have to find the consonant all other letters excluding these vowels, right? With the maximum frequency and uh, we have to return the sum of uh, the two frequencies in the end right and if multiple vowels or consonants have the same maximum frequency you may choose any one of them if there are no vowels or no consonants in the string consider their frequency as zero right and the frequency of a letter x is the number of times it occurs in the string so very easy problem here if you see example number one so s is a consonant right s is appearing one time u is appearing one time c is a consonant c is appearing uh, one time right and then I move here. So again, I see one more C. So now C frequency is going to become 2. Then I see E. E is a vowel, right? E is a cream one time. S, I see S. So S frequency is going to uh, become 2. And then I see one more S. Then it is going to become 3. And then I see one more S here. So it is going to become total 4 in the end. And E frequency is going to become 2, right? S and C are the consonants, right? S and C. So S and C uh, are the consonants, so max is 4. And same way U and E, uh, they are uh, vowels, right? U and E. So among them, max is 2, right? So 4 plus 2 out of 6, right? So vowels U and E, right? Frequency 1 and frequency 2, the maximum frequency is 2. The consonants S and uh, C, frequency 2 and here 4, the maximum frequency is 4. So output is 2 plus 4, 6, that's it. Same way in this example, all are uh, vowels only here, right? So max is 3 among them and there are no consonant, right? So consonant frequency max is 0, right? So 3 plus 0 is 3, that's it. The vowels A, E, I, the maximum frequency is 3. There are no consonants in S, hence the maximum consonant frequency is 0. And the output is 3 plus 0, 3, that's it. And these are the constraints. S total length is 100 and S consists of lowercase English letters. So this problem is very easy, right? Uh, I have to just iterate over all the characters in string one by one. And for that particular character, I have to check the frequency, right? So frequency of 0 is going to show the frequency of A. Frequency of 1 is going to show the frequency of B. Same way frequency of 2 is going to show the frequency of C. And frequency of 25 is going to show the frequency of Z, right? So while iterating over all the characters one by one, I will just update the frequency. And once I update the frequency, then I will check whether uh, this particular character is a vowel or not. If it is a vowel, then uh, I will create one variable, uh, let's say max vowel, and I will update the max value of uh, vowel here. Or if it is not a vowel, then I will create one more variable max consonant. Let's write the code very simple, nothing complex here. So first, uh, do one thing here, create one uh, frequency array, right? So int frequency and here you have to write uh, new and int and here you have to pass the size as 26 right uh, this is done now after that uh, just calculate the length of this string so s dot length so we have calculated the length of this string then after that uh, create uh, two uh, values one is a max consonant and set it to zero and uh, create one more max vowel and set it to zero as well right and then you have to just iterate over all the characters in your string one by one so int i is equal to zero and here i is less than n and here i plus plus and now inside this first check the character okay care c is nothing but s dot care at this particular uh, index i okay so i am taking the character now i have to update the frequency of this so frequency c let's say my c is a character is a so from this character a if i subtract a so i will get frequency of zero and frequency of zero is nothing but a right so here i'm just going to increment it like this okay and now here i will check if my c is equal to 
a right or my c is equal to e or my c is equal to i right or my c is equal to o or my c is equal to u right so these are the only vowels right if this is the case then in that case i'm just going to update my max vowel right so here math dot max of mv value and here i will just update this value right frequency of c minus a whatever the value we have for this one okay so this is what i'm going to update right that's it and same way here in the else part here i'm just going to update the value of max consonant that is nothing but math dot max of and here mc and here tc of c minus a that's it okay and uh, once this for loop ends here and here you have to just simply return mc plus mv that's it now let's run the code and see if there are any code issues we'll try to fix that so see all the test cases has been accepted right now let's submit it so see our solution is accepted right and the time complexity for this problem is going to be of n since we are iterating over all the characters of our string one by one right so of n so i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem and if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section